Hello people, I know I told you I'd have that video out by now, but I my transmission went out of my truck, I'm working on it, I'm babysitting my granddaughter, and I have a full-time job, and I'm doing the research to make sure that my dates are correct. I want you guys to have 100% correct information. I don't want to spread no fear, and I don't want to spread no bullshit. I want you guys to be informed of the facts. Now here is something that I can let you know that I do know this isn't real important on the dates and stuff but it has to do with the education system and what happened to the education system uh, see back in the day when the, there was not a lot of population the children were taught in their homes to be edu they were educated in their homes and then uh, as the population grew the people were employing people, other locals with uh, virtues and morals and understanding of history and writing skills and arithmetic skills and basic science and, and they were employing them people to teach the children and as the population grew, the demand for more education, better education grew and so this isn't in the history books and I don't know why but originally the children were rounded up basically by military because they were so scattered out the military would go around and gather up the children and take them to school and the first schools were actually uh, ran by military people but the country was young and the uh, parents of these children didn't want military minded people so the government abolished that idea and just started furnishing the land. And then they started furnishing the books and the money to pay the teachers. And through time, they were furnishing basically the education of the children. They, they were putting in what they wanted. See, back in the 1800s, they were teaching civics in school. Civics is the study of human interaction, behavior, and human rights. And people were taught about their rights, that they had their rights. And then coming into the 19th century, it was the education system was all right, and people were being educated correctly and uh, on their rights and everything. And then as we come into the 20th century, into the 1900s, you get in about halfway in there to the 50s, and they started implementing government courses, teaching government in schools. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but because we all needed to know about government and what government is, but and how it functions. But is what happened is coming in from the 50s to the say around the 70s, civics was no longer being taught in school, but government was, because my alarm clock, i got to go to work. Uh, I'm busy, I'm telling you. And, what, and I would, okay, now civics in the 70s was being phased out of the schools because the government was indoctrinating the people. Here's, an, here's a real interesting fact, before I go much further. The original Pledge of Allegiance to the students in schools and all over the country was started like this. I pledge allegiance to my flag. That's right, they give that. Hitler and the rest of the pledge went like that. But when Hitler started his Heil Hitler thing, they got rid of that. Anyway, uh, back to the civics and the government part. They started phasing civics out of the school because they didn't want the people to know they had rights anymore. And they started drilling more into government so that the people started to believe that the government had rights. They wanted the people to forget that the government works for the people. And they want people to believe that the people live under the government. Instead of the other way around people, it is the other way around. We control the government. We've just been indoctrinated through their public indoctrination and ignoration system to believe that they control us. The fact of the matter is we control them. And we just 
have lost focus and power on that through their ignorant, ignorant the people. They're turning people ignorant dolls. You know, it's hard to, I don't know people, we just, we gotta wake up, we gotta bring ourselves into a unit. We gotta unite. It's the only way we're gonna have a chance against this corporate government that's taken over our country. It's ours, it's not theirs. We just let them have it. And it's time that we take it back. Uh, like I said, I'm just letting you know that I, I do have this video in the works. I got my notes going on. I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that it's right. And I know you will know and you will understand when this video is complete that what I'm saying is the truth. But right now I gotta go to work and just letting you know this video is in the works and it is gonna be an excellent presentation and it will open your eyes and it will show you what has happened to our country. But for right now I gotta go to work, I gotta get ready and go. And I will get this video out to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll hopefully see you later.